Today, there will be just a little bit more room over at the Blank Park Zoo. It is getting ready to move out Keanu the Rhino. He's been at the zoo since 2012, and he's done some good work there. He's fathered a couple of baby rhinos, and that's big, a very big deal for this critically endangered species. Our Griffin Wright joins us now. He is uh, inside the zoo, right uh, next to Keanu's enclosure. And uh, tell us all about why Keanu is uh, having a moving day today, Griffin. Yeah, well, the biggest reason is kind of what you got at is uh, conserving the species, right? So he's already had two kids, and now they're ready to uh, let him move on to uh, his own zoo down in Texas. You can see him here. You see how big these bars are just to keep an animal this big uh, safely secured. He's about 2,500 pounds. And if you ever wondered what a rhino smells like, it kind of smells like the uh, sheep barn at the state fair. You know, definitely kind of that animal uh, vibe here. But uh, looking at him, he's just this massive, huge animal. I'm actually joined here with uh, Kayla Freeman, the large mammal supervisor here at the Blank Park Zoo. And Kayla, what all goes into moving an animal this big? Yeah, so once we, once we have the recommendation, we'll usually um, identify our crate um, bring it to the barn, get it attached, and every day we've been training him. So, you know, we've added different elements. You know, we know we're going to have to drop a bar behind him. So we've been, you know, hitting metal poles just to get him used to the sound. You know, anything that would he would hear or see at the day of, we want him to be completely familiar with before. Mm -hmm. Definitely, and Keanu's leaving not to have more kids, but to more free up space here, yep. which hopefully in the future lets kind of another rhino come in and help kind of get yes. some more rhinos in the world, which is ultimately the goal with how endangered they are. How important is it to kind of have this captivity conservation effort? Yeah, it's super important. I mean, not only are we breeding and creating more rhinos um, in the world, but also, you know, we're creating awareness for these species. You know, how cool is it to get this close to a rhino, you know, create this um, bond and go home and want to help them, you know, so it's super important to have them here. Yeah, so I mean, and just looking at him here, he's eating some hay, some things like that. Uh, does he have any treats? Are there any favorite snacks of his that he enjoys? Yeah, so I mean, with, for training, we use a lot of um, apples, which they really enjoy, but we also do a lot of different types of food as well. So like watermelon, squash, um, we did really giant pumpkins for um, Halloween a couple weeks ago, and they just <laughs> tear those up and eat them whole. So it really all types of <laughs> yeah. different uh, fruits and veggies and season. things for him. But <laughs> you know, I think everybody is uh, sad to see him leave, but excited for what it means for just the rhino population in general. And uh, today is your last day to come out and see him in person. It is really cool to see an animal this big. It's about uh, three quarters of a griffin tall. Uh, a lot. A lot heavier than a griffin, but you know, just use me as a measurement. But uh, you know, I think everyone uh, is just going to have a good time seeing the rhino and uh, seeing whatever future rhinos come through to the Blank Park Zoo. Yeah, I got to wonder if he knows he's going somewhere today, but they need to make a little bit of room over there at the Blank Park Zoo. Thank you very much, Griffin. He's uh, he's done this a few times. He was there yeah. for the uh, the giraffe move as well, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that was. Like Way two griffins over. high. Yeah, he's draft. using himself as kind of a, a unit of measure, right? I guess you can do that when you're at the zoo all the time.